everybody's having just a wonderful day out here. I'm here out in the garage again. You can see the white fly blow behind me. And we got a little project going on now. As you can see, we have the valve covers off and we have the intake manifold off. And what we're doing today is we're gonna be applying some, some of this color shift paint to our under the engine pieces to make it a little more pretty. As you can see, we already have some of the base coat down. I'm picking this video up a little late because the camera was dead and I didn't realize, so I had to charge it. And if you come out here with me, you can also see we're going to be washing up the car a little with the power washer. So, we're going to continue to apply this base coat. Um, you guys can see the, I'm only putting down two coats, we're going to probably do about four or so. So, I'll apply the last two coats to this, um, set you guys up so you can see it, and we'll be able to see the finished product. Alright, so as I said, this is my third coat of paint. The first two coats are pretty light. So, um, we're going to put this coat on a little heavier. As you can see, it's setting in pretty nicely. I'm going to try to slow my strokes down a little, actually. You just don't want this to run too much, because once it starts running, there's pretty much no coming back. Anything or not? There's pretty much no coming back from there. So I'm not a spray painting expert or anything by any means, but you want to keep your strokes nice and consistent mix it up a little get all the angles might be a little too wet there in the front just let that dry a little make sure you kind of rotate around Move on to the valve covers. There's stuff starting to get on here. Let me get it off my finger. Also, the paint's dry, so I should be fine. Like dirt flying. Not too worried because it's sitting under my engine in the car. But I do want it to be as nice as possible. Slow my strokes down a little. Make sure more paint's getting on there. Alright, so while that last base coat's drying, we're going to start up on the car wash, kind of kill two birds with one stone here. I'll give you a nice look at, give you a nice look at the pieces here. As you can see, the base coat's pretty much done. Maybe one more coat, maybe we'll see how it dries. This one's a little spotty, but it's just the base coat and the actual color shift paint's going on top of it. If you guys are wondering what it is, it's by Rust-Oleum Color Shift. It shifts colors at different angles. I saw somebody else do this in the Facebook groups. I was just searching and they did it about a year ago. That's not picking up well on camera, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a lot more black in person. But you can see where the power by four is a little more gray, so I might try to hit that again. Alright, so the car's pretty dirty. Y'all saw I put that first coat of uh, soap on there. We're gonna let the soap do its magic. Uh, when you do the foam cannon, what I do usually, is I'll do it one side at a time. I'll let the soap pull all the dirt down, and then I'll actually hit it again, wash it by with the bucket, let that do its thing. But while the soap's pulling it down, we're gonna apply one more base coat. I'll pick you back up on the GoPro so you can see how that goes.
gas. So usually when I wash my car, I go top to bottom, side to side. That way, the soap doesn't have enough time to dry. And I have this nice little hand thing that I can wash it with. It makes it look really easy. And I really just want to make sure that all the dirt's loose and not really getting the soap off at all. And then after this, we'll rinse it off and we'll be done with this side and we'll repeat it on the other side. And really all I want to do is make sure I hit all the spots. And as the soap drops down, it'll pull the dirt with it. And since I wash my car about once a week, it's not extremely dirty. So I can just do that rinse it off and that's ought to be good to go. And then we'll just wipe it dry so we don't have any water spots. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply another coat to this. As you can see, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's turning a little bluish. And I'm sure if it was in the sun, I'd have a, an actual reaction, but as I said, we're gonna give it nice and generous coats. Oh yeah, that's gonna look really good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks awesome. All right, so we're gonna let that set in. Might wash the other side of the car, might just go in the house. Um, the area's not too well ventilated. We are in the garage, but I don't have really a fan in here. I might go get one. I'm gonna let this dry. It's looking like it's gonna come out well. And I'll pick this vlog back up, and I come back and spray some more. All right, so we're back in the garage. We brought the fan out, because it's getting a little suffocating to hear all the paint fumes. But we're on coat number four for this, coat number three for both of those. And we're gonna go ahead and apply this. As I said, we're going to give them generous coats. Oh, this is starting to look really good. And if you guys have seen my other two videos, you know that I'm thinking about adding a power adder to the Mustang. And with me painting my intake manifold, you guys can probably guess what it is I'm getting. But I won't come out and say it. If you know, you know. With me painting my intake manifold, pretty much sums up what I'm getting. And the power adder that I'm getting, I'm probably gonna also do this too, so it can all be one consistent look 